The Office of Education is charged with the great responsibility of guiding the learning experience of students entrusted to the conference and to create an environment where they develop mentally, physically, and spiritually. Our goal is to prepare them for their present existence and life with Jesus in the earth made new. Additionally, the thrust of the Office of Education is to engage all members and community friends in a stimulating arena to strengthen these faculties. Every soul is of inestimable value to Christ. One day soon, Christ will return for a ready people and our stewardship will be evaluated. In order for one to serve well, he or she should have the appropriate tools. In this vein, the conference facilitated a school board training to promote excellence in leadership. In June 2016, Dr. Cheryl Roll, Director of Education of the Atlantic Caribbean Union, was the presenter at the workshop. Her presentation on concepts in leadership and policies was well received by members and the school board. Some of the vital duties performed by the education secretaries during the quadrennium were keeping records of the children and youth in the church family, promoting Adventist Christian education, working with a designated elder for education, providing support to parents of infants, issuing a certificate for a tuition discount of $100, conducting and facilitating stimulating seminars for the faculty and staff of Bahamas Academy. During the period under review, five educational employees have retired. In June 2018, Principal T. Milton Lewis's tenure expired. It was an honor to welcome Mr. Lewis three years ago. We thank him for his dedicated service to Bahamas Academy, and the school welcomed Mrs. Juliet Sands on July 1, 2018 as the new principal. Kindly refer to the delegate booklet with data on staffing, enrollment, and graduation at the close of each school year in the quadrennium. We congratulate Natalie Roberts, who faithfully performed the duties of chaplain for three years. In the 2017-2018 school year, Chaplain Roberts extended her visits to parents of former students. We remain grateful to her for the spiritual inroads at all divisions of Bahamas Academy. Succeeding Mrs. Roberts is Elder Johnny Devlamar. Over the period, 21 students were baptized. The Parent Teachers Association has been a strong support over the years. Memorable mention is made of the outstanding leadership of Mrs. Victoria Forbes and her team. Our students have benefited from the Union mission trips for two years. Although students were in unfamiliar cultures, their collective effort resulted in four baptisms. For the past four years, Bahamas Academy students have demonstrated their ability to stand on par with the nation's best academic achievers. Bahamas Primary School Student of the Year Foundation awardees Sylvie Garcia, 2017 semifinalist of a $1,000 scholarship, and Aidan Gibson, 2018 finalist of a $1,500 scholarship. We continue to examine and source methods to increase the percentage in the AC passes. Personnel from the Ministry of Education informed our teachers on the requirements for the National High School Diploma in summer 2015. Marcia Smith and Alicia Bernard conducted impressive workshops with our staff on the importance of appropriate strategies to enhance learning. With the nation's focus on pre-primary education, our school sought to give additional support to our early learning center. We engaged in the services of Leah Burrows from the Ministry of Education. Professional development affords educational staff the opportunity to improve instruction and impact academic achievement in a positive way. Our staff engaged in a number of activities that facilitated professional development and the union-wide teachers retreat, which took the form of a cruise to Key West, Florida and Cancun, Mexico during March 26 to the 30th, 2018. Our conference was blessed to inject over $38,000 
to make this a reality for our well-deserved teachers. A compelling and essential project that has been the focus of the Office of Education is to complete the Christocentric Curriculum Guide in each subject area. One of the goals is to see enhancement in oracy, literacy, and numeracy. It is noteworthy to mention that the Office of Education in the South Bahamas Conference through the Atlantic Caribbean Union has teamed up with other fields in the Union to undertake curricular writing. Bahamas Academy, under the supervision of Dr. Lavonda Smith, completed the science curriculum and is now ready for scrutiny. The long-awaited move from Wolf Road to Marshall Road was realized in the last quadrennium. Though having occupied the Marshall Road campus in 2011, the occupancy was only temporary. This resulted in the school not having a fire suppression system. This system has been installed to the remarkable joy of the constituents. We are grateful for the gift of the conference and the coordination of Winston Simonet, Vice Principal with responsibility for physical plant, then Principal Milton Lewis, and the fine engineers and laborers who made this project a success. We now await the electrical work to move to completion. The office oversees the largest active church of approximately 800 members. The school board is charged with moving the institution from a three-year accreditation to a five-year accreditation. In the interim, the following goals have been achieved. Completion of the five-year strategic plan, securing a new chaplain, and the move toward the official occupancy certificate with the installation of a fire suppression system at a cost of over $100,000, complements of the conference and the UDF funding. I express profound gratitude to an awesome God who has been faithful to the Office of Education during these most active years of the Quadrennium. I am also indebted to the members of the school board for the guidance and support given to this great work. To the former and present administrators of the school, teachers, staff, parents, students, PTA officers, and education secretaries, your unwavering commitment to Seventh-day Adventist education is admirable. I also express appreciation to Mr. T. Milton Lewis, who completed three years of contractual service with our school. His vision for improvement at Bahamas Academy will remain with us for a long time. Then I extend my gratitude to my union supervisor, Dr. Cheryl Rowe, who with an unflinching commitment to Seventh-day Adventist education, guided me during the quadrennium. Her sage advice has engendered progressive paths for our students and teachers over the years. I also appreciate the hard work of Mrs. Bridget Bastian and Mr. Namos. These ladies carefully ensured that the tasks given were executed in a professional manner. As we look to the future, let me remind you that God desires the best for his children. Ellen G. White says, higher than the highest human thought can reach is God's ideal for his children. Our duty is to give each child an education that cannot be completed in this life, but that will be continued in the life to come. An education that secures the preparatory school of earth to the higher grade, the school above. When this is done, we are bound to meet our students in heaven. Thank you.